Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Sapphire and you're watching Chillin' with Sapphire. Um, today, this video is something that has been on my mind for a while now. And I guess there were some moments that actually stood out to me on um, Love is Blind season two. And I just really wanted to give my thought. Um, now, disclaimer, my thoughts are not gospel. Please don't come for me in the comments. I am just sharing my take on um, what I've actually seen. So I'm kind of weird when it comes on to um, movies and um, series. Like nowadays, if it doesn't really, really stand out, I don't remember the specifics. So these thoughts that I am coming with today are just going to be telling you what comes right to mind or what comes right to mind when I think about them. Um... So yes, I am not, I won't be bashing anyone because of course I don't know these people personally. I'm just going off what I saw on the videos. And just to repeat, I do not remember specifically. So if I am wrong, you can make that be known, but okay. Anyways. Also, this video is going to be a mixture of a mukbang. Um, I just went ahead and got Burger King. So I thought I'll just do this video, a two-in-one video, um, talking to you guys while I'm eating. So I'm coming to you guys today with Burger King and a Dodge's barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that is barbecue sauce is good it's not in Jamaica but it's a really good like really it's really good I love barbecue I judge barbecue a lot just as how I judge fries everywhere I go um, and I oh also I have so I have a bacon and cheese bacon and cheese whopper I'm more of a chicken sandwich person, but it actually stood out to me on the menu. Like nowadays, I'm really picky when it comes on to food. It's hard to keep eating or, um, yeah, it's hard to keep eating because I feel like maybe in a way I'm probably bored when it comes on to food. I feel like I don't know what I want to eat most of the time like something have to really stand out to me to want to eat it um i was feeling for like a little jamaican flavor food i was gonna check out a restaurant today however on my way there uh today is today is september 5th a monday um so it is a holiday and i'm not sure when this video will be posted but I just want to make that clear because on my way to the restaurant, I then remembered today is a holiday and the restaurant might be closed. So I decided to check on Google and it was closed so I had to turn back. Um, so I also have chicken fries. Now these are not too brand new but they are one of the newest on the menu I would say and it's really good. really good and I also have coca-cola my go-to I need to stop drinking soda guys but I just it's really hard I actually stopped drinking soda before and then I started again because working in a restaurant and you're around a drink fountain which is free no but you're not gonna drink water even though you do have the option of drinking pink lemonade because based on the drink that we have you have the option of drinking pink lemonade 
but I always mix it when I'm gonna Sprite. So it's basically the same thing. The only difference is they don't use Sprite to clean the toilets. Sorry if that was too much, but I'm just being honest. But yes. So sorry. Yeah. The sandwich. Um, so the first couple I have is Jarrett and Ayana. Oh, before I start, guys, I also want to say in my description, I did make it clear that my videos or my channel wouldn't be anything specific, but just how I'm feeling on a day to day basis or what idea just stands out to me at that particular time right i know not every video that i am going to do is going to be of interest to everybody i just want to make that clear um so for example um this video I'm sure not everyone watches love is blind right so i just want to make that clear so now i can proceed so my first couple is Jarrett and Ayana. Yeah, I think that's how our name is pronounced. I feel like I feel like I am most upset about this couple. Out of all of them, I am most upset about this one. Because Every time I remember Jarrett, this is what stands out the most to me. The fact that he was going to propose to Mallory. Mallory turned him down and then he was very heartbroken. He was very heartbroken and then he decided to go, okay. He went and proposed to Ayana and that's how they're talking now like that is so upsetting like and she also said it she also said it she she didn't want to be a second choice but you are like really and truly you are and i don't want my opinion to come across as if i am being harsh say she did say that she didn't want to be a second choice however that's what the case was if mallory had said yes to the proposal he would have never married her that was the that was the worst part of it like out of all of it b like before being in the pods like i mean being in the pods that was the worst part of it for me watching the series and then after everyone had met up and uh, meet each other see if what everyone was looking like and all of that Jared was having a conversation with Mallory I can remember at the bar and like the comments that were being made were so I, I find it to be very inappropriate because he was I think he was saying to her it would have been you or no he was saying I wouldn't have done that though I wouldn't like because I think Salvador never asked her the type of ring she wanted and I guess Jared did and he knew he would have gotten her the ring that she actually wanted and he kept commenting and saying and saying I know that's not the ring you wanted I wouldn't have done that I would have done this I would have done better and I'm like you would I mean I know you weren't married yet but you proposed to someone else even after you were turned down by Mallory and then now you're in the same space telling Mallory that you wouldn't have done that if she had picked you like I found that very inappropriate and I could not believe that they were saying those things in front of like being in the same space with everyone but anyway i won't stretch too long 
and each couple but with Jared and Ayana I just I don't know I just did not like how it happened like I don't think it was genuine I just felt like he chose her because Mallory turned him down point blank and it was very obvious I mean we understand that you like both both women but how does it really look though you were so desperate to marry that you got turned on so you just jumped in the other person and then she, I guess she was so desperate to marry that she knew she was a second choice and she still decided to marry you but anyways people grow into love that's it is what it is my next couple is Daniel and Nick um I'm, I re I'm really not sure I'm, I'm really not sure based on what we are seeing or what we saw we it's obvious that I'm not gonna say Nick is stuck up but Daniel is obviously a little bit more free-spirited because as you know she still throw parties she still go out she still um do custom i mean costume parties with her friends and it was obvious that nick was not having that um it was almost like when he went to her house it would have almost seemed like he was judging her based on the fact that the furniture was not in proper condition because of parties that were thrown and they were going up on tables and all of that really and truly um jarrett and ayana and Iana, I keep anyways, Jarrett and Iana and Daniel and Nick comparing couples, their personalities were different because Jarrett he loved to go partying and Iana was not that type of person, she was more the stay at home type, probably a little bit you know, homebody, like they, we would call it. As for Daniel and Nick, Daniel loved to party and Nick seemed more the responsible type. You know, he kind of looked though. I feel like he judged her on party, throwing parties and going on tables and all of that. Also, she had this thing about her. She weighed a lot in the past and she had obviously lost weight and she was kind of insecure. So I guess some of the... I want to say childish reactions um, in their relationship on Daniel's part I'm thinking that probably it's because of her insecurities um, which she probably it's obvious that she still hasn't overcome um, yet but which is fine uh, you know as you grow older sometimes you get a chance to um grow on stuff and sometimes it just doesn't happen um my next couple is shake and no, deep tea i think it's deep tea his first red flag was trying was trying to was in the pods trying to figure out physical appearance of women no you're on a show called love is blind right you you went through some experiences and of course you don't have the same views then why go on the show in the first place you said why love had to be blind why not, why not um love is blurry i get that that is your take on it i am not saying love is blind nor am i saying love isn't blind you went in the pods and you were literally trying to put a physical appearance on each woman i can remember when he asked dt um they were t i think they were talking about festival and would i and he said like would i be able to put you on my shoulders or i don't think i don't remember if the question was that direct or formulated in that same so formulated that same way but you're basically wanting to say um yes i can go on your shoulders or no i'm too big you won't be able to manage me 
Are you kidding me? So funny, he asked her that, and Deity was also a woman who struggled with weight, um, being weighty in the past, and now has gone through a weight loss journey. Like that was that was so low though, and it's so it's so funny that he he doesn't see anything wrong with what he had said or how he behaved on the show. He was I he was so disgusting for me. Like that's my honest opinion. He was so disgusting. And I am so glad that DT did not go through with the marriage. Because there was no growing in love for their relationship. Based on how he was viewing her, based on how he was always around her and I guess he did not like her physical appearance. He was very harsh and disrespectful as if he has never spoken to a woman before or he doesn't know how to speak to women. So, like, it was a no-no for me. He was a no-no for me. He could have been 86 from the show. He wasn't needed. But anyways, N N Natalie and Shane. Oh, Natalie is such a sweet soul. She is such a sweet soul. And she didn't... I don't want to say she didn't deserve Shane. Because there were, there were both... Positive and negatives that I saw in the in this couple with Natalie she um, There were some times when she were when she came off as being very harsh um, To Shane in my opinion some things that she said to him, but at the same time Shane being a man that seems very confident He seemed to always need reassurance from Natalie like he always wanted to know um, that he looked good like he always needed to hear it so it got me thinking if he's insecure about himself like why do you need reassurance um, from someone it's not it's not even a case where he needed reassurance about the relationship but he needed reassurance about him as an individual which kind of was really weird for me and another thing that I didn't like, this happens with most men, because I know it's not all, but this happens with most men. So when 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 they are upset, they tend to say things that they either don't mean, or or it's them basically telling the truth something that they have been thinking and because they're upset they just say things it it can go either way right and for him when he was upset i guess he said a lot of things especially the day before the wedding how are you going to mend that the day before the wedding like you're going to bring up a lot of regrets in my mind let me think that probably I shouldn't be doing this and that's exactly what happened Natalie did not continue or go through with the wedding which I thought was really good for her because I didn't see somehow I did not see where where they were going to work out they were kind of it was a lot of ups and downs in in terms of the relationship so not saying you can't overcome ups and downs in a relationship but at the same time i just didn't like the direction that the relationship was going so i guess it wasn't going to work out um next i have mallory and salvador i don't i really don't like nothing really came up to me directly in regards to that couple it's almost as if they were there but they weren't there it's so funny but every time i think of mallory i think about the incident with jared and salvador he was a very nice guy 
he was a very nice guy. It's like thinking about their connection or their relationship. I it's so funny. I don't know what to say about the relationship. Like the parts that I saw, it was really nice. He was a really really nice guy, singing to your woman, playing the guitar, and they were both. I want to say of Spanish descent or Hispanic or I'm not sure but it was really nice he was a very nice guy so I'm not really sure what worked out I guess they both weren't on the same page why it didn't work out um for me I'm wondering if it's a case where Mallory was saying she wanted it but at the same time she wasn't sure I don't know if she felt like she was making a mistake, but they didn't mention it. So I really don't have a lot to say about Mallory and Salvador. Um, the last couple I have is Kyle and Shayna. Um, I don't know what Kyle and Shayna were doing. Meaning, I didn't see them together. Like, I didn't see a relationship with them together I, so I don't know what they were doing I don't know if this was for the sake of the show I I was just confused furthermore Shayna seemed to have been minding Shane's business more than she was minding her connection or relationship that she was trying to start with Kyle I just feel like she was um, trying to destroy the relationship whether she's going to whether she admits it or not I just feel like she was trying to um, destroy the relationship between Sh Shane and Natalie so that I guess she could have Shane for herself time Shayna seemed to be drinking or seemed somewhat drunk she just uh -uh. She, she just seems like a wreck like every time she should she, she, she's drink she just seemed like a wreck I I don't know I don't know I don't know she and I need to make up our mind I mean I guess she did because I am speaking as if the show is still happening um, all of this has happened they are supposed to have Love is Blind season 2 after the altar, um, which is premiering September 16, I think. So I am really looking forward to that. I am really looking forward to what is going to be said. I know. I don't know if you notice, whenever I'm talking, I don't know how I do a mukbang, mukbang because, oh, I decided to do a mukbang. Because whenever I am talking, I do not, I cannot really eat at the same time. Sometimes. I it's almost like I'm trying to stay focused so I'm talking to you guys and I still have my burger I had literally one bite so now I am going to eat my meal <laughs> I hope you guys like this video as I did mention this video may not be for everyone um, that come across this video well I mean hopefully if you come across this video is a case because it's for you so you will give it a watch and a like so thank you so much for tuning in guys to yet another video the second video i hope you guys are having a great day whenever this reaches you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time peace out